Wow. <laughs> He's happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm not so Oh old. my god, dude. The emotional baggage I was carrying throughout this whole fucking movie of fucking I'm therapy. Gonna get married. Put my you therapist on. is gonna know about this film. <laughs> okay. Fuck. You know. Time um, to talk about, I mean, very obviously this movie is a long ass balls, but I genuinely think it only seemed to drag in that emo scene, because the, the emo scene, I don't know if it's because we've been to so many malls here in the UK, um, so it, it sort of did not feel as cinematic as it probably should have. Yeah, um, it was a little anticlimactic to yeah, me. Yeah, in the mall, the only, the only scene that I, I would sort of be like it might have been weaker than anything else only because the whole movie is like mate the scenery the numbers everything is outstanding except for that most scene and, and i understand perhaps why they did it you know the mundanity of life the unexpected aspect of it um life kept going uh, the world kept it moving stopped for anybody exactly yeah. and i think that's what that was the representation of it so in that scene it sort of it feels like okay fuck, you know maybe this is it and then obviously they, they drag it out a bit more because you have to because if not it would have felt so unsatisfactory mm -hmm. because there's so many character arcs that have to finish that have to come to a close and as a matter of fact like that it does it so gracefully um, mm -hmm. because it allows for the time as a, sometimes you feel like a lot of new movies should learn from some of these old movies in terms of running time but at the same time to get it this right for this length of time is basically an impossible task i genuinely don't know how so many movies in india got it correct i mean these are the classics they got it correct with such long running times because the longer the running time like the stronger the script's gonna have to be the stronger the, the directions are gonna have to be the stronger the acting i think and i i also know then why angelis character for the first hour and 45 minutes it's literally one of the hardest characters i think i've ever seen played by anyone mm. in terms of dialogue volume in terms of dancing performances in terms of portrayal of songs and complexity of a character in terms of a character arc the emotional baggage she's carrying and then i'm thinking bloody hell there's no fucking this is insane yeah. if this is for three hours and a half with that intensity of a character that's nuts this is overwork mm -hmm. um, but then i understand of course you you do have such a star cast with karina and then anjali and then you obviously have srk with ritik um, so you can allow SRK's character to breathe a little bit and focus on uh, Rohan a tiny bit more, which makes a ton of sense. You can you can tell the budget went to the film, which is Generally. which is I think in terms of like storyboarding and uh, storytelling of the film, in it's a beautiful it's a beautiful script, it's a beautiful executed, well directed uh, movie yep. from beginning to end. Everything in between the callbacks, the instincts. King's the, College, it was. Well. Ah, King's College. Uh, the 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 details of mannerisms, the mirroring of things, the 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 call to traditions. Everything was very well dedicated to to a T to perfection it was really well done then take something that it was done to the maximum expression of perfection in, in an emotional fa family oriented film and then add insane amount of musical numbers which required incredible amount of choreo choreographing incredible amount of extras and cast a ridiculous amount of resources in terms of 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 cast and expenses the music the not not the score not the sound score of the film but the musical numbers of the of the, of the whole film were such brilliant musical compositions that and actually as you're watching the film for the first time you cannot pinpoint which number is more exalted than the other because Pretty each wild. number is absolutely phenomenal it, it and tries you to know, outdo each other in every fucking number it is it's like it's competing with the last number that you just watched and it's such a beautiful uh, experience for somebody like me who grew up or studied a lot of musicals uh, in in the golden era of of Hollywood to bring some of those principles and modernize them and and maximize them in a way that they're both emotional but artistically quite pleasing it was such a satisfying movie experience i think for the next one we should do a modern one um it's also Ooh. interesting to also do very modern ones uh, obviously there is death dust up in the line oh yes um, there is 
that that's 100% coming. So, but I'd like to do something modern after this. This uh, is Treya Goshal's debut. Debut. Yeah, indeed. Mm. But it's a very, I mean, it's a movie that we have to do. Um, but yeah, let us know what you guys thought about it. What else should we check out next? And thank Gabi you so much. Gabi Gum.